everyone, welcome back to another episode of Modded Family. Look at this cutie, he looks like he's giving us the stink eye and it's so funny to me <laughs> with his little chubby cheeks. I love him so freaking much, but we are right where we left off, kind of. I did have to play a little bit because I put some like fireworks down, which I had to place them in these weird spots because this lot is not leveled and makes sense because it's a beach, but it makes it so you can't put fireworks in a lot of places. So I did what I could. Then we got random sparklers all over the place because I just got them a build to buy and I just plopped them down, which she already had a sparkler. I don't know where she got that from, but she had that. And then I had her make a cake. I did like a little kitchen here really fast and just had her make that. So a little bit of time has passed, like one and a half sim hours or so, but that's okay. So I decided he is going to age up. I just, I'm doing it. <laughs> I'm doing it. I, regardless, um, I, I didn't get, I, I feel like you guys don't care when he ages up. I didn't see many comments about it. I got a lot of comments about other things like Cove's possible pregnancy. And guys, can I just tell you, like, I really hope, I don't want to say I hope she is because that's like not supposed to happen, but like it would make for an interesting turn. So like, I'm not against that. You guys are like commenting things about it. And like, I'm just really curious at this point. Like, I don't know. So some of you guys were saying that like with that mod, sometimes the doctor will say you're pregnant and then you're actually not, but then sometimes they're right. So I don't know. And I don't want to spoil it for myself. So I'm just like impatiently waiting. But with that said, let's do our notification shout out. And this one goes to Jess. And I hope that it's a little girl too, because we have two little boys. I'm ready for a little girl in the family. Oh my gosh. I would love to see what a little girl looked like. And I'm assuming the father would be Adrian. So I'm really curious to see what a baby girl would look like with their genetics. I don't know, but thank you so much for your comment, Jess. And if you guys want a chance to be in a notification channel, all you gotta do is comment down below. So she's like so pissed off. Someone call a doctor. Oh my God. Cove should really visit the doctor soon. Something's not quite right. And she's been feeling that way for a little while now. So she keeps having these moodlets. They're not going away. So I'm just like crossing my fingers. I mean, well, like I said, uh, she wasn't supposed to have a kid, but she's like, I don't know. Now I'm like open to the idea of that. She's really sad because of the breakup. So wait, did she invite the girl? Um, we have so many like bald sims going on here. Look how many cats she knows. Love that. What the heck? I did the teleporting thing. I don't know what I did, but she's here. <laughs> no, you don't need to call her now. Oh my gosh. Okay, so you're here. So let's go ahead, brighten her day. Let's make a flirtatious joke because I don't think she's going to go full out, like, you know, flirting with her already. But then again, I did say she checked out of the relationship <laughs> quite some time ago with Aurora. So there's nothing wrong with her, like flirting with her. It's not like she's just uh, jumping onto the next one. Like it's not like that at all. Um, and she's known Carly for so, so long. And I honestly think they're really cute together. Look at them. Oh my gosh. Like she's such a different vibe than Aurora. Um, and I'm kind of living for that. We're just gonna do mostly, you know, friendly things though. Ask for reassurance because she's just feeling a lot of types of ways. Um, and yeah, I honestly kind of feel like it would be cool if she moved in as a roommate. Oh my god, you're really beautiful today, Carly. I don't think I tell you that enough. Do you find me attractive? <gasps> Oh my goodness! I wonder if she's gonna answer. Yes, why do you even have to ask? Guys, all the signs, they're adding up. <gasps> I want them to do their first kiss. Like, what if it just happens? What if it just happens? You know, hold on. I know we're paused, I'm sorry, but we're gonna add to group and I want them to go over here together. Um, Just, you know, let's get by everyone. Of course, they have to witness the kiss, okay? <laughs> And then we need to age up little dude. Also, oh, she got a drink. Of course. She got, oh, they both got drinks. Matching drinks. Twinsies. Um, love that for them. Okay. So are we ready, you guys? It just popped up and I feel like it needs to happen. And it's right there. It's Sims World Day. Like, oh my God. <gasps> oh, guys. Oh, wait. This is a really, oh, I love the background. This is really cute. This is so cute. Why did this kiss turn out so perfect? <gasps> oh, I still think it'll be a little bit till they date because she's still like, you know, recovering. She also really wants to smoke some weed, probably just cause you know, the breakup and everything. I'm not against her doing that. Like, you know, she went to rehab. Oh, he's playing in the sand. I feel like smoking some weed honestly just helps her cope sometimes. There's nothing wrong with that. So, um, oh, she doesn't even have anything. Do you, do you have some? Oh my god. <laughs> I didn't realize. Wait, you have a sparkler too? Oh. 
Oh my gosh, everyone has sparklers. We can't use that. For the oh, we don't even have the right stuff. Well, that's okay. It's okay. We can do without it. Oh, he found a conch shell. Cutie. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's the guitar. <laughs> I was like, what is happening? Okay, so I think we gotta age him up because it's getting late. Um, I'm excited. So let's see. Um, we might need to place down a table, which sucks, but you know, the Sims do be picky though with where they blow out their candles. So I'm probably just gonna like place a table down over here. And then we need to do fireworks. Um, because you know it's late now, so we'll do that. Um, this is such like a random wait, let me just get like eh, yeah, I'll just get like a regular table from here. Um, this is such like a random Sims World day, but I love it. Okay, so I mean, yeah, this is like a normal, just like outdoorsy table. We'll probably just get one of these. Quick little table they opened up. Let's do this. Oh my goodness, you guys. Help blow out candles, blaze. <gasps> what do you guys think he's going to look like? I'm literally already curious what he'll look like as a preteen and he's only just becoming a child. And I'm really excited for him to make some more friends and start going to school, you know. Oh my gosh. Oh, come on, is this gonna work? Oh, you're tired. I know, we're gonna age you up. Oh my god. Oh, cute. Atticus. Oh. They're on the swing set together. Wait, I wonder if like everyone's just gonna get along with her so well and then Cove is there. That's so cute. Is this working? Okay, okay. Yay. Oh my gosh. Harlow, I swear to god, you are always passed out, girl. Uh, wait, what? Okay. At least- ah, ah, ah. <laughs> We need a photo. I almost missed it. That went so freaking fast. She looks done with the day. She's like, I want to go to sleep now. Okay. Okay. This is like not a good photo. So I'm just going to take it like this. Just so I can at least have one last photo of him as a toddler. But like, and then like, I'll get one from further away as well. But like, I don't like this. This is not- nope. Don't like it at all. <laughs> But it's okay. All right, so let's see what's he going to look like. Guys, I'm very excited. This was a long time coming. I'm so excited. Uh, what? Huh? <laughs> Hold on, I think he's still gonna age up. I don't know why he just changed. Oh, <laughs> why is that so funny? He's like, I wanna go swimming first as a toddler one more time, but I think he's gonna age up when he gets on the stairs. At least I hope so, because it's still here. He's so tired, you guys. I might have to put that up a little bit because I want him to do, are you eight? Like what's happening? I don't want to miss it. <laughs> She's having the time of her life on the swing like a little kid. Honestly, I would too though. I love swings. You're aging up right here. Oh, that is so random. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, what the heck? He looks exactly, exactly how he did as a toddler. What? Oh my God. Usually I don't have kids look that much alike. Literally it's like just, toddler grown up bigger. Usually their facial features change more, but no, it's like a spitting image. Oh my goodness. Okay. So, hmm. I feel like he's creative, but I also feel like mental. Um, I think I might do mental. I see him being the one who wants to go to college and stuff and like Atticus might go as well, but I feel like he's gonna be like failing and stuff and like partying. Also, I do have some ideas in mind. I don't wanna spoil too much of like a future storyline, but I think of these things like way too much, you guys. Like I'm constantly planning out this Let's Play, all of my Let's Plays, but <laughs> I was like, oh my God. I mean, it would make sense for them to go to college at the same time. Even though he's younger, I feel like they would be young adults at the same time. And I feel like Atticus would take some time off after high school before he goes. And then I think they're going to go together. So I don't know if that would be like a different season or if it would still be season two. I don't know. I don't know. This Let's Play, like, I never want to end it. So I guess we'll see. I could see him being a geek, but also a bookworm. I see him very smart and, like, a book kind of guy. Like, I really do. Like, I see him very book smart. I don't know. I think he's like, going to have, like, a very successful career. Like, maybe he'll even try to become a doctor or I don't know what, but I think definitely something where he needs to go to school. I think that'd be really cool. So I don't want to regret my choice. Like, we could make him a genius. I do like that idea. Uh, yeah, yep, uh-huh. <laughs> okay, we're gonna go for it. Oh my goodness, you guys. I kind of want to go into creative sim right now. However, what he actually, he looks pretty good right now. But what's his everyday? Okay, yeah, we're gonna go change it. <laughs> oh my goodness, you guys. <gasps> 
Oh, he's so adorable. He literally looks exactly the same. His eyebrows just look, I mean, they look a little fierce. I feel like I, I might change them a little bit. I just feel like he'd have friendlier eyebrows. I kind of like these eyebrows though. I just feel like they'd be like happier. Or do we change them? I'm picturing him with different eyebrows. I know everyone's like, don't change the eyebrows. Or no, they say that for toddlers. Never mind. <laughs> they always say don't change the toddler eyebrows because then they grow up and it's all wonky. But I don't, either way, I don't really mind because I feel like you can just adjust eyebrows whenever. Yeah, I feel like he'd have just like really friendly eyebrows. I honestly like this hair on him, but I might be changing it. Let's give him some little eyelashes. Um, I don't know which ones I want. Oh, now they're both on. I think these ones are fine. And do we give him a skin or do we not? These ones change the face a lot, so I don't know about it. That's cute though. I will say that looks cute, but it does change like, you know, his classic toddler face. Um, so I think I'm just going to do one of these. These ones give your Sims such baby face. They will look young forever and ever with this skin. Okay, so I think I'm gonna give him that and let's pick a curly hair. Guys, look at the color difference of these two hairs. I'm thinking I'm gonna go for this one. It's like, I don't know, I just, I, I keep looking at all the short hairs for him. So yeah, I feel like short hair right now, but it might be longer as he's a preteen or something. I don't know yet, but I like that. So we're going to give him that. Oh my gosh, you guys. So little story time while I kind of choose his look. I recently, okay. So if you guys have been watching my videos for a long time and you watch like every single one, you might be familiar that like I go through stages with planning. I always buy different planners every year. And there was a stage where I was making my own stickers and doing like full, like you, do you guys know the happy planners or Aaron Condren planners, those type of planners where there's like, um, made stickers for them. You can either buy them them or you can make them. You can buy them on Etsy. You can like transform your planner pages into like all these different themes. Well, recently I discovered digital planning. I had seen it briefly a couple weeks ago, but I didn't like look into it. And then the other day, um, I came across this video and I was like, wait, oh my God, this is literally like you can plan the same way as you would in a happy planner or Aaron Condren planner, but it's digital. So you're not wasting paper. You don't have to keep buying stickers over and over again. Cause once you buy stickers, you have them forever. You can use them over and over. I was like, wait, this is so cool. And you do it on your iPad. You can also do it on your phone, but obviously it's a lot easier on an iPad or just a tablet in general. So anyways, now like literally all yesterday, I could knock it off my iPad. I was like learning this like app called good notes and i purchased this planner and it was only ten dollars for the entire planner it's just great because if you mess up you don't waste a page you can just you know delete what you put on there you can either write with your apple pen or you can type with like regular font oh my gosh and i'm like putting stickers all over the place and it's so organized because you know i can't mess up i can just take away what i mess up and redo it it's amazing i'm like obsessed and it's so aesthetically pleasing i can't stop watching digital planning videos guys if you like planning please watch some digital planning videos I can't stop watching ones by Happy Downloads. That is the person that I got my planner from and I am hooked. Oh my gosh, I got the rainbow one. It is so pretty. Anyways, I'm feeling sweaters on him. <laughs> so I think we're gonna go for a sweater. I honestly really like this one. So we might go for that, but I also, that's cute too. But yeah, I do really like that other sweater. But I also like this. I don't know, he looks good in a lot of things. I changed my mind again. He's gonna wear this. <laughs> that's what he's gonna wear. Oh, purple. Oh, I like this one too. This has like purpley tones in it. So I like that. Okay, we're gonna put them in that. And then um, we need some pants, probably just some classic jeans. Oh, these are cute. I like those ones. Okay, I gotta put them in these with the socks. It just gives them this little cutesy nerdy look. I don't know why, but I love it. So we're gonna go for that. And I'm just gonna do the rest of his outfits and then I'll pick back up. Okay, so here is his everyday, which you guys saw. And then formal wear, athletic wear sleepwear, party wear, swimwear, and then hot weather and cold weather. So I feel like all his looks kind of like definitely show his personality, which I love. And he loves sweaters and like the cozy soft sweaters. <laughs> so there is his look, at least for now. I honestly think that Acadia would want to dress him so opposite of this. 
but he just didn't like that style and he got to choose his own clothes. So, cause like, I remember when she had a little boy, I was like, oh my God, what if he is like her little mini me and super rocker, but he's like total opposite. But I love that. I love how different her son is from her. Okay. So he definitely wanted to go swimming, but you know, we got to do some sparklers or something. I think that would be really, really cute. Also, how does it, does it always say sing together? I could have sworn, hold on. She has one. Yeah, see, light sparkler. Why does it say that? <laughs> I genuinely have no idea, but what I'm thinking is you have this one because I definitely want the kids to at least, you know, and didn't someone else? Yeah, so I don't know. They just still have sparklers from something, and I feel like these ones, I don't know. It just says sing together, but sure. So I feel like they should come down here. So let's go here and then let's have you go here. I'm so excited that he's a child, you guys. Oh my gosh. Oh my God, with the education overhaul mod, the new one that I got, wait, he can join like a whole different school. Should we do that? I think so. I think that'd be fun. Oh my gosh. Okay, so let's go ahead and play with Sparkler and then let's have you do the same thing. Cute. Oh my goodness, yay. We're doing sparklers. I want to get a photo of them together. Wait, <laughs> hold on, wait, it's perfect. <laughs> Why is this actually so perfect? Wait, wait, wait. Okay, I had to turn headline effects off because I needed this perfection picture. This is literally their personalities in a photo. Tell me it's not. <laughs> I love it so much. What the heck? That's the best. Oh my goodness. All right. So they're going to do that. He really is not into it. He's just not. Oh, oh, this is so cute. Oh my God. I feel like they're so opposite, but they get along really well. Oh my God. Oh, school's out for the summer. Okay. So he is not going to be going to school just yet, but I'm excited to enroll him in a different sort of school you know like i feel like he'd be in private school or something i think that'd be fun but yeah i need to get him some preteen friends i'm very excited for that you need to go to the bathroom we're gonna be leaving soon though so it's okay um it's like one in the morning we're, <laughs> we're like all over the place but that's all right um everyone's so tired i feel like she's gonna come back home with her to be honest, which makes me want them to go home like now so that she doesn't just leave and like everyone has to pee. So, but we do have to do this. Maybe we'll do this quickly first. So let's go ahead and light it and let's try to get everyone over here. She was like, I wanted to go swimming. It's so late, but I think they had fun for the time they were given for sure. I, I don't know if I'm going to miss it. Oh, oh, <gasps> yay. That's it. That's it. <laughs> I don't think I got the good ones, but that's okay. Um, so at least, oh my God, there's always so much bats everywhere. Well, at least they got to do their fireworks and oh my God, should she go to the doctor again? Like she just keeps on feeling this way. Maybe we'll go to the doctor in the next episode. Um, oh, he stank. He said, I'm taking a shower. Oh <laughs> no. What is this? Guiding light from friendly advice. Oh, oh my God. He has so many moodlets right now. A friend's two cents. Oh, I love that. All right, so everyone just feels terrible. He wants some cake, so he's gonna grab that, but we need to go home. So let's go ahead and just have him go home. A sim world day was awful, you guys. Well, I'm sorry, I tried my best. No, I really didn't. <laughs> I was more focused on like getting Blaze aged up and having like Harlow and her future girlfriend have their first kiss. Um, but yeah, so she's going to come with them. I think that's perfect. I'm excited, you guys. And Harlow absolutely needs a little baby soon, but the storyline, I mean, hey, it's kind of realistic. Unexpected things happen in real life. And I feel like so many unexpected things happen in this modded household. So sometimes, you know, like right now, Hope is like, oh my gosh, you guys, the doctor told me that I'm pregnant. And it's kind of like making Harlow want to wait. But I don't think there's any issue with her like adopting we can also do a surrogate situation, but like I did decide on the adoption just because, I don't know, I, I really like, I really want to see adoption in the series because we haven't done that yet. Obviously with Blaze, if you guys, I definitely recommend watching the series all the way through, but if you have not, obviously with Blaze, like we don't even know his father. So we used, what was it the... Oh, we used the Woohoo Wellness and Pregnancy Overhaul mod to do this, I'm pretty sure. This was some time ago, 
And yeah, we got her pregnant and we've like never really met this dude, but this is his dad. It was really cool. Like it was, it was pretty realistic. She got some realistic moodlets from it and everything. And so, I mean, there's always that sort of option. Um, and then also some of you guys have like suggested one of them carrying a baby for her. So there's been a lot of different suggestions, but because we did that whole thing with Acadia, I'm like, should we do adoption? Like I know she carried the baby herself. So if we had someone else carry Harlow's baby, that would still be different than what we've already done. But I wanted to do something totally different because we haven't done adoption at all yet in this series. And I think that'd be nice. So I think maybe I'll stick to that. But I, oh my God, he's now has, oh my gosh, oh guys, he's going to be famous on the internet by the time he's like 16. Oh my goodness. Girl, you want to go to sleep already? Let's use and then go to sleep. <laughs> but yeah, I feel like she... I could see her having more than one child. So I feel like maybe adoption right now is what she wants to do. And then I think maybe once her and Carly are together, because I definitely see that happening, they're just like really hitting it off. Um, then I think in the future, she'll want to have, like her and Carly will both want to have another baby and then we could do another situation. So I guess we can just see, um, what are the options? Hold on. Oh, the household is too big. Uh, wait a minute. Does that mean she's actually pregnant? Guys, I think that means she's pregnant. I think it means she's pregnant. I'm still not looking. I'm not looking. <laughs> I'm waiting. But that's like really should mean that she's pregnant. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Well, anyways, she's going to go to the doctor in the next episode and then we should confirm it for sure. But like the doctor already said she was pregnant, but like sometimes that mod does that when they're not actually pregnant. I don't know. I don't know. But... <laughs> Um, oh my god. Okay, so you're sleeping in your bed. Uh, you need a new bed and you're also really starving. So let's go ahead and just get some leftovers. And then, uh, yeah, we need to get him a new bed. So I'll do that like off camera. Oh my goodness. Okay, so if that's the case, then there's literally no room for her to have a baby, which makes me really upset. So then I don't know what to do. Okay, now we have like a whole other like story window opening up here. We didn't want to split up this household. You know, we always, I've said in a lot of episodes about like keeping the girls together and you guys have always wanted them to stay together. I remember even in season one, when the girls started like having well, when Cove had her first child, like, um, I remember you guys commenting on some episodes saying like, does this mean that, you know, they're going to like move into different places? I want them to stay together. And like, that's why I did this townhouse situation. Obviously you can have more than eight Sims in a household with mods. So we can do that, but I'll have to do some things like I'll basically it, it's going to be all over the place. So what I would probably do, well, see to make the adoption happen, I'd have to, if I want to do it in like a cute way, what we could do is have Harlow moving with Carly, but have it be like she's just staying there for a while. You know, they're getting clothes and Harlow was like, I want some like one-on-one -on -one time with Carly. And obviously the modded household is so big. Then I feel like it makes sense for her to spend like a weekend or something at Carly's. And then we can do the adoption while she's there. And then basically move Harlow back and then we'd have to have her right click on the sim or whatever and then you add to family like for the new adopted child does that make sense <laughs> i'm sure you guys know how to have more than eight sims like you can do it with mc command center so that's what we'd have to do it's gonna be a lot to take care of all these sims if you guys think the girls will slowly start splitting up into different households. Let me know. That would be a totally different turn. Literally ever since season one, they've all been together and I wanted to keep it that way, but the family is growing. So what do you guys think? I don't mind using MC Command Center and having like 12 Sims in the household. I don't know if I should wait for like a new season for that and have kind of like, you know, those shows, like kind of like a reality show where we're like focusing on a different household for each episode. What's a good example? Teen mom. It would like switch, you know, because obviously all the girls lived in different houses. It, it would be filmed kind of like a reality show like that. So comment down below that we may wait for that until like another season. Now I've all of a sudden just got a name for season three already. Anyways, you guys, I'm gonna wrap this up here. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope you guys are all having an amazing, amazing day. And don't forget to leave some positivity down below. I love you guys also so much and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys! The